going to go over how to remove and install the radio in a BMW E46. You do have to remove the wood trim first to get this radio out. Started on the far right. I do have separate videos on just taking this wood trim out, but I'm going to go through all the steps. Pry gently underneath. Once you get to the end, usually you can wiggle that piece out. It's held on by just these metal clips. And you have the wood trim over by the radio itself. This piece right here. That's also held on just by one other little hole down. And sometimes these come out with it, which like you can remove. If you have trouble, you can look at my other video for just the wood trim. Now the radio is actually just held on by two Phillips head screws, one on each side. Remove those two screws. I remove those two Phillips head screws. Now this radio is going to slide out. Just give it a little bit of a wiggle. Okay. It's held on by a couple of connections in the back here. Most of these actually will just pull off. Just give that a wiggle. Same thing on this one. And the other main connector looks like it just came straight off, and that's this one right here. It's the first time I've had the radio off on this, so I wasn't sure what to expect. Let's take a look. Usually this connector has a slide piece on it. Let's pull this out. So you can see near the steering wheel. This has a locking tab on the top that actually has a slide lock that you have to lift up and then this will come off. But it looks like uh, somebody's been in here before and has broken that slide tab. Now it's not really a big deal as long as you can get a good connection on the radio. But uh, when you are removing it, there's going to be a slide lock where you have to pry that lock up. And usually if you pry a little bit on each side, you can walk it up. And sometimes, as you can see, they actually don't want to come off and they actually get broken. But as long as you line everything up right and you're going back together, and that connector stays on, actually just heard the radio engage. So you do have to support it when you put your other connections back on. Make sure that connector stays in place. Put the two antenna wires on. Okay, there's my connector. Typically this is where that piece would be where it has to lift up to unlock and then you'd put you make sure it's all the way up when you go back on and then when you push it down it's going to actually lock it into place one of those slide lock connections so reinstallation make sure all your connections are good the radio will just slide back into place Give it a little wiggle there's two locators here and here on the sides I'm pretty sure, let's see, this is a tape deck. If uh, you can find one with a CD player in the E46, I think uh, the connector is basically the same. You could actually swap it over. So you just have your two Phillips head screws. Also, if you were replacing the radio with an aftermarket, this would be how you'd remove it to access the wires and install an aftermarket radio. You know, on an E46, it's not really too big of a deal. Now 
reinstall that wood trim. And then the trim on the dash. And you're done.